Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today's video is gonna be a fun one that I'm really, really excited about. This has been like the big project that I've been like, can't wait to do. So we're redoing Eugene's enclosure. For those of you that are new, Eugene is my veiled chameleon, and I kind of wanted to go more of a bioactive route. So that is what we are doing today. So I'm hoping to also do Percy's tonight, but that will be a separate video. Um, so if you guys have been following me, you know that Pip, my crested gecko, she got a bioactive. Um, she's not in it yet because I'm still letting it get established. I'm waiting for a couple more goodies to come in before I finish filming that and then posting it for you guys. Um, but that was kind of my big project that I've been wanting to tackle for a couple months now. But now that I've done that and I'm just letting it get established and everything, it was time to think about my next project, which was redoing Eugene and Percy's enclosures because I'm not that thrilled about them. Percy's isn't horrible. Eugene's is looking pretty rough, especially since I'm not good at keeping plants alive. So it was just, it was looking kind of pathetic. Um, especially after going through the move and moving back home, they just really needed some TLC. So since I'm kind of on a bioactive kick, I decided why not try to go bioactive with them. So I'm no bioactive expert by any means. I'm still learning. So these aren't going to be like perfect spot on bioactives, especially these two, or this is a chameleon video. So especially this chameleon enclosure, I don't have a drainage layer or a false layer or any of this stuff. What I do have are these bags from the bio dude um, that are meant for these rough debris enclosures. Um, I've seen a couple people use them. I decided why not give it a go and try and see what happens. Um, the mixture I used inside, I didn't film putting it in because that was a lot of hustle and just took a while. So I'm just gonna tell you what's in it. Also, the lights are off because it is nighttime because I had to wait till after work to film this. Okay, so inside here, we have a mixture of organic topsoil, sand, and like a coconut um, husk mulch type of thing. Um, and then I'll be adding in some sphagnum moss and some leaf litter and some springtails and some ice pods and of course, plants. Eugene, of course, decided that he was going to go to sleep on a lower branch. You can see his tail right here. Um, so we're gonna try to work around him as best as we can. I really don't wanna disturb him. He does get very grumpy when he's woken up. So we're just gonna, we're gonna see what happens. If I have to move him, I'll move him, but I'm gonna try to work around him. So for tonight, I'm just adding in the plants. I'm not gonna worry about all this extra stuff. I do wanna leave most of it, I think. The only thing I might change a little bit are where I have some planters up high because I'm not good at remembering to water them and that's when they died, but We'll see. Maybe I'll replace it and leave it because I did like how full it looked when I had plants up high in the enclosure. So maybe I will try that again. But yeah, so we're just going to worry about putting the plants in today and the leaf litter and the ice pods and the springtails. And I'm not going to worry about the decor. That I don't have an issue with. It was just the plants or the lack thereof that I had an issue with. Oh my god, it was like almost exactly a year ago that I got Eugene. So it was almost a year ago that I redid his enclosure. It was last winter I redid his enclosure. And if you guys remember that video, you remember I was in my other bedroom with lots of floor space and that looked nuts. Now I'm in this small bedroom where my floor space equals a bed. So if you look behind me, <laughs> that's not the floor space I have and it's all the plants. All right, so enough chit-chatting. Let's get to decorating or putting in the plants, I guess, if you count that as decorating. I don't know. Try to sneak this one in the back. There. I put the pothos in the back because I feel like they're hard to kill, and that back part gets a little more shade than the rest of this. So, and they also, I'm really good at not killing those and growing them, so if it goes wild, I'd rather it not cover up the really cool plants I have. <laughs>
So real quick before we finish up, I'm gonna tell you guys what plants I put in here. And then we're gonna be done for the night. Um, the only thing I wanna change now is I wanna take his, you know, you can see it, his uh, basking light. I wanna put my double dome up and put that in and a plant light for the plant. So maybe I won't kill them this time. Okay, so in the back there, I've got some pathos just because the plant I had there died. I couldn't keep it alive and pothos are easy to keep alive. Um, I am supposed to have another plant right here. This is why it's looped to fit a plant pot. But I didn't really want to worry about it and I don't know where my other green pot went. So I took his extra hammock thing and just kind of pulled it through. Just gives him something extra to climb on. So why not? New enrichment. Um, I dropped his stick down a little bit so there was more distance between him and his lights. I felt like it was a little too high. Um, anyway, plants. So in the back here, we do have his Dracinia, which was in his enclosure before. So it's this nice tall one with the thick, thick, uh, let's call it a trunk, I guess. It wasn't doing so hot, so hopefully it'll do better now. Um, I have his umbrella plant that was down here before in the back here. Oh, hi, Eugene. Sorry we woke you up. I apologize, but you have lots of new plants now. So we've got his umbrella plant in the back here. I have a bromeliad, which I'm very excited about. He had one before and it lasted like a week. So I'm very excited to try one again. Um, behind those right here, we have some prayer, we have a plant, blah, blah, blah. We have a prayer plant, which I thought were really pretty um, and they're chameleon safe. So I got it. Over here we have, uh, it's called a lemon something. Um, let me see if I can find the tag for it. Warneki Lemonola something something. I really like them. I think they're pretty. I have one for myself that I got a while ago. Um, but I looked it up and they are chameleon safe. So I got one for him as well. Like I said, in the very, 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 very back, very, very back, we've got a pothos. And that is it for the plants. And I'm going to throw in some leaf litter, springtails, and ice pods. Oh, and moss. I get my springtails from Josh's Frogs. Highly recommend them. They have populated so well. Um, I had a hard time keeping springtails alive and I have had no problem keeping them alive with these. Alright, so a lot of my isopods kind of took a hit during the move and aren't doing so hot, but my giant canyons have been doing really well. Um, so I'll probably put some giant canyons in just because those are the ones that are producing very rapidly, where my other ones have kind of a decline in population. So we're gonna knock a couple in there. So that is it for Eugene's enclosure and the Oran Call It done for the night. Um, there's definitely some more things, some little tweaks I'll probably be making. So if you want to stay up to date with those updates and those upgrades, um, follow me on Instagram. You guys know ZA Reptiles. Um, so you don't miss that stuff. But this is the general overview of the new bioactive enclosure. So I do want to say I'm really liking these BioDude Chameleon Baskets. Um, it took me about three bags of topsoil, half a bag of sand, and some coconut husk to not quite fill it, but almost kind of fill it. Um, so it's a big bag. <laughs> so you guys know the drill if you want to see more of my animals, more of my upgrades, because there are a lot of future upgrades coming 
or that I would like to do, or at least some bioactives, um, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss those. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.